Hi and welcome to the video series of Biotechnics Explained in 5 Minutes where I explain a concept about biological technique in less than 5 minutes and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel so please subscribe. Today's installment we'll be talking about in situ hybridization. So as you know in situ hybridization is one of the important methods by which mRNA can be uh, probed and we can ask two questions using this kind of technique whether a specific mRNA is present or not and if the mRNA is present then where it is present basically its localization so in this particular example we probed a particular mRNA which is present in subcellular local location in the hippocampus so let's just understand it in a better manner so here is a mouse brain coronal section where you can see the hippocampus is labeled by this particular molecular marker or the gene which is expressed in the dented gyrus location of the hippocampus. So if the gene is expressed in the specifically in the dented gyrus of hippocampus then its mRNA would be localized in that region in that cellular region right. So you, here you can see a lot of mRNA of that particular gene is present in the dented gyrus. Now you need a way of probing that mRNA in order to understand where it is present and how how much it is present so here is the mrna of interest that you want to probe in order to understand the mrna whether it is present or not you need a probe the probe is basically a complementary dna sequence now or complementary sequence for the against that rna right now the probe is labeled with some specific type of label which we would be discussing later but it can be detected by a enzyme -lin linked antibody system or a fluorescently linked antibody system now let's just move over the technique one by one. So here you can see there are some mouse brain sections. The earliest step is to treatment with protease to get rid of all the proteins. Because we don't need proteins because we are detecting here the mRNA. Then it is left for overnight probe hybridization which is the most important state where you put specific probes to a probe for one particular mRNA, one particular type of mRNA. And after the probe hybridization, we expect that the probe has bind to the mRNA and it would present it would be present only in the place where the mRNA is present and it would show the endogenous location of the mRNA. After that, there would be stringent washes, several washes to get rid of the excess probes. Then we can, as these probes are labeled by digoxygenin in this particular case, it can it can be probed using specific enzyme linked antibody now the enzyme linked ant antibody binds to the uh, probe the digoxygen label on the probe and then we can put substrate which would ultimately develop into a color reaction and this color reaction would ultimately tell in the section or in the look in location of the whole brain where this particular mrna is present now the color reaction is based on an enzyme substrate reaction. The enzyme which is linked to the antibody is known as alkaline phosphatase. So the alkaline phosphatase has its substrate which is NBT and BCIP. So alkaline phosphatase which it would convert BCIP into an indoxyl intermediate which would further react with N NBT to form an insoluble diaphormazan uh, salt which would be in blue or purplish in color and that color would tell us where the specific expression pattern is and we would understand whether the mRNA is present in that location or not if present how much it is present now other ways of detecting that is fluorescently label antibodies where it could be detected by the normal method of fluorescence and this kind of modification of the in situ hybridization is known as fluorescence in situ hybridization or fish though this technique is very in interesting and important and developmental biologists or cell biologists frequently use these techniques this technique has a drawback so it can tell you roughly that how much mrna is present or not but it cannot quantitatively tell you how much how many copies it is present or not in order to understand that quantitative estimate quantitative real-time pcr is the option but still in order to understand the cellular localization of the mrna or understanding anatomical loca localization of that particular mrna this is one of the best technique available 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.